today we'll be presenting on 3D printing prosthetics and how it will impact the future of healthcare. I'm Amy Schweitzer, and later you'll hear from Elizabeth Fig and Nicole Cuomo. We are all students in the College of Public Health and Health Professions. In the United States, over 2 million people are living with limb loss, and this number is expected to double by 2050. Despite the large number of people living with limb loss, many people choose not to utilize a prosthetic because traditional prosthetics are very expensive, difficult to access if you do not have health insurance, can be uncomfortable and heavy, and lack aesthetic design. On the bottom of your screen, you can see a traditional prosthetic compared to a 3D printed prosthetic. As you can see, the traditional prosthetic is bulkier compared to the 3D pr printed prosthetic, which is more streamlined and gives the user more control and range of motion. Next, we will talk about how 3D printing prosthetics work. 3D printed prosthetics are composed mainly of acero nitrile, butadiene, styrene plastics, or ABS plastics, as well as bridge nylon for a stronger material. These materials are lightweight and allow for a comfortable and easy fit to any body part. The prosthetic works through sensors that are placed on the wearer's muscles, which send out electrical signals to the muscles. These signals allow for the body part to move when specific muscles are flexed. For example, when a 3D printed hand prosthetic, each finger can be moved independently and with varying speed. This allows for the person to be able to grip different objects as well as move their hand in various ways. Furthermore, there are three different kinds of 3D printing, which include selective laser sintering, thermal inkjet, and fused deposition modeling. These three forms of 3D printing are all used when forming and creating 3D prosthetics. Continuing, there are three steps that have to be done in order to ensure the prosthetic fits properly. The first step is to obtain digital information on the body part through scanning. This allows for the dimensions and area to be taken. The next step is to de develop a digital model of the prosthetic through computer modeling. This allows for the patient and doctor to see the prosthetic before it is made and make any changes if needed. The last step is to make the physical model of the device and de develop the technical documentation. For example, if you look at the image on the screen, it is an image of a typical 3D printer that is using the computer modeling to print the physical device. 3D printing of prosthetics is significant because it overcomes several barriers that prevent people from utilizing prosthetics. For example, 3D printed prosthetics can be customized to an individual's personal choices and preferences. Being able to customize your own prosthetic in terms of appearance as well as size and fit can increase one's self-perception of their missing limb. Additionally, 3D printed prosthetics are more comfortable than traditional ones because they are less bulky and on average weigh half a pound less than traditional prosthetics. And finally, 3D printed prosthetics can be efficiently manufactured, taking less than 24 hours to successfully complete their production. How will 3D printing of a prosthetic make a difference in healthcare? Uh, first, we'll discuss the personalized medicine um, aspect of this in which 3D printed prosthetics optimize the use of technology towards the specific needs of the user. Using scanning technologies during the initial assessment to individually design the product reveals that it is not a one-size-fits-all solution. This helps increase patient affinity and attitudes toward long-term use of prosthetic devices as it is tailored to their exact needs. The cost effectiveness is also an important aspect in which it is known to be less expensive to produce a 3D printed prosthetic than a traditional one. It can cost as little as $50 compared to $10,000 for a traditional prosthetic. And it also decreases the use of unnecessary resources. Another important aspect of the differences that 3D printing of prosthetics can make in healthcare is its uses for children. Um, the low cost of production for 3D printed prosthetics is especially important in children as they can grow out of their prosthetics throughout their development. Costly traditional prosthetics can be a large financial burden on families, but stretchable and expandable 3D prosthetics can grow with the child and save money. A child who must utilize a prosthetic can be susceptible to the stigma of it being a disabled person within the society. To combat this psychosocial barrier, some companies have created online software for children to use to design the appearance of their prosthetic. They're able to pick an aesthetic sleeve based on the different categories that can represent different personalities, including being a warrior, shadow, elegant, and serenity. This child is able to connect with the personality they have chosen, which can reduce any negative perception of having a prosthetic device. Freedom of expression can improve their psychosocial development and affinity toward using the device, as well as lowering the stigma. 
And finally, interoperability. This is a, an aspect of healthcare in which other professionals can use 3D printing to design products in transferable ways. 3D printed products can be saved in unique file forms that can be shared with other medical professionals in open source databases, allowing for easy replication of devices and improving efficiency by eliminating the need for professionals to spend hours researching in scientific journals and databases, saving time, energy, and improving patient care. Next, we will talk about the future implications of 3D prosthetics. The future of prosthetics lies in the hands of 3D printing. 3D printers are being designed to be more compatible with more heavy duty materials such as lightweight titanium in order to increase the strength and durability of the prosthetics. The cost of 3D prosthetics will make it the financially responsible choice over traditional prosthetics. The low cost will drive up the demand for more 3D prosthetics in the market. Another factor that will drive the need and want for 3D prosthetics in the future is the productivity effectiveness. These prosthetics can be made within several hours as opposed to weeks and months for other prosthetics to be made. Lastly, one of the main things that will continue to make 3D printing successful in the future is to bring awareness to this innovation as many people are unaware of this option. There's also a lack of access to 3D printing of prosthetics as is still new and upcoming and not all places have access to this type of high tech technology. Therefore, we recommend implementing 3D printers in more rural and poor cities in order to reduce the amount of lack of access. Our first discussion question is, how can awareness of 3D printable prosthetics be expanded globally to reach developing nations or susceptible populations such as war torn countries? Our second question is, as 3D printing prosthetics become more prevalent in the industry, how would the shift away from traditional prosthetics to 3D printed prosthetics affect shareholders? Thank you, we hope you enjoyed. <laughs>